hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking in thank you for your likes overwhelming comments positive negative they are always welcome apart from the insults we don't take insults here and we also don't insult we don't intend to so don't push us to okay if you feel this channel or this content is not for you kindly walk away in peace and leave us in peace this content has its own people we all analyze here we criticize we agree we disagree all these things thank you guys my supporters for always coming back to check on me your support and love is overwhelmingly amazing my new subscribers you are always welcome feel free let's do this thing together returning subscribers always feel free to come back again and again you are always welcome on this channel and also my secret admirers <laughs> i know yeah you always come and say oh carol i've been here for some time and guys you know what i appreciate you super slappers i do appreciate you my moderators thank you so much for pulling and helping me through this channel you know i never even asked you for you guys you people you just came for me what can i do without you eh keyboard reactors hey you're the powerful people on this earth like seriously and actually today's video is all about keyboard reactors as i had told you earlier that I'll be reacting a lot on the comments that you people are leaving down there, whichever. Today, I'm reacting on the comments that have been put down on Ayamarwa's engineer's channel. The video that he did about fixing things at Ayamarwa. Keyboard reactors came for him. Hey, what 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 Burning him like something else. They never spared him. They said enough is enough. And you know what? I do agree with keyboard reactors also from the other side. Because you know what, you guys, you are here, you see the things that are being pulled in front of your eyes and you have the right to say no or yes. And this is the power of reaction by the end of the day. This is the power of reaction and these are the things that I want to talk about. Before that, let's check on my store, guys. I do have very interesting stuff. You can go and check on them. I do have hoodies. I do have t-shirts for men, t-shirts for ladies, and also unisex t-shirts. I do have mugs, some accessories like bags as well. Kindly check and pick anything that you would love to. And it will reach you wherever you are in the U.S., in uh, Europe, in Asia, in Africa. Just pick anything just to support this channel, AM Carol. Now, let's come back to Amaro's engineer because today, this is the person that I've picked to talk about. I know there are so many things happening in Abohanse, guys. You just look at everything and you just say, let me pick on just some one thing because it's just too much in your head. It's too much. It's too much. Sometimes you look around and you're like, hey, where, where do I start from? You know? Anyway, this engineer guy, we always call him Engineer Muitu. Engineer Muitu, the fake engineer, he came with a video. And he was showing us around, especially now what we are talking about is the Siwa issue. If you remember the video I did recently about that uh, strongman guy talking about how the sewage was not well done. And now all the toilets are bubbling and something needs to be done. And he told engineer this and then uh, Amara was like, don't talk about engineer. Don't talk about him here. He'll feel bad. Covering engineer. You saw Amara covering the engineer? Yeah. So the engineer is back in the side. And when he came back, everyone was not happy with him. People are like, engineer, we don't know what you're doing over there. I want to read you those comments, okay? But before I read you the comments, I will show you the video. Now, this is what people are telling him. They were telling him, all this shady work was done under your watch. You were there when all these things were happening. You did not realize that this sewage or plumping thing is not right until when strongman came. And now strongman is kind of trying to realize a few things here and there and all the mess is just too much. And it's only this strongman, the man that was not paid, that is rectifying everything and putting everything together trying to even advise them on some of the things that they should do. When the other engineer, not the other engineer, the other plumber <laughs> that was under engineer's watch and he was paid, did those kind of shady work. 
work now let's come back to the video guys let us see what is happening at amarwa's place and as you are watching this video kindly try to imagine if it is you who is living in this space and kindly let me know in the comment section if you can handle living in such an environment leave alone the people who are coming for the party leave alone the visitors from abroad leave alone anyone else you you as the owner of this place if you can live or stay under this environment kindly let me know in the comment section but meanwhile let's watch these videos to do what actually you can just see here i tried in the morning actually i could have shown you every progress that i was working but i was too busy taking levels that's why you can see the strings just running all over because the initial plumper did not take the levels as it is required so me myself with the strong man decided that actually we shall have to take the levels to the king so what i did here i did benchmarking so that the pipes will be lying on top of these beds of the concrete so that after we have laid them that is the one which is giving us the slope down to the biodigester place. So the biodigester is just here around. Let me show you so that I take you around to show you actually what is just happening here. So this is at the far corner. We have got here the biodigester, which is just right away here. This is the place where the biodigester is. And next there, where I see uh, the Yakuli, yeah. say hi to my people. Hi. And this is a bigger one that actually is able to carry on the volumes of waters around here. So actually, as you can see, we are trying to make and better this place day by day. So this is what we have been doing. I've just shown you where the biodigester is. And right away here, we are trying, we have dug the strengths, made the relation similar uh, as they are supposed to be. And here we are, we are trying to make actually the end come true. So this is how we have dug this place. And it is so wet because there are a lot of rainfall falling up and down. This is where we ended our level. And this is actually what was done. So tomorrow, I will wake up going the other side. Kindly keep in touch to see actually what is going on. So here, I told you that my boss is a surprising guy. Today morning, once I arrived here, he told me, Mr. Engineer, I don't want parking because the land I have is enough for parking. So he created a parking here. So this, the, the parking place, the parking bay has been turned to be a room. So you can see how we have just partitioned it. So this is, will be the lavatory or the bathroom, so the washroom. Then this space will be a place where people shall have a bed and then sleep. So this already has been designed to be a room. What I was just placing, these sticks, as I can call them, are levels you can see i've even parketed in white so those are some of the things we are just doing also i had something i had to do because i saw my subscribers writing about it and here is i've just placed it in order to safeguard the door below so i've done it so my commentators my viewers my people See, I consider actually what you normally tell me in order, if it sounds, I bring it to the boss and here you can see we have done it to make sure that actually we secure the door. Thank you so much for those who reminded us about that place, even although my opinion was to, be, to put a glass. But Guys, you have seen, that is the situation on the ground. And I don't want to talk much because you have your own eyes. You can see everything by yourself, right? <laughs> Do I have to show you? For those who have not gone through that video, engineer's video, at least now, you know what is going on. But before we proceed, we need to read 
some of the comments in the comment section because what I saw there, <laughs> I'm very keen when it comes to reading comments. I'm very keen. I know I'm not so much into uh, replying, but I'm very keen. In every video I watch, I'm very keen. I go through all the comments, even for the last three days videos. I'm still reading the comments that are still coming in. <laughs> hey, I love listening to what other people are talking about. I love learning from other people's opinions as well because this is how we know what is happening. All right. Now, let me start with this one. Joseph Safiri said, what removed that iron sheet? Why are you spoiling Marwa's house? You put cheap iron sheet and you call that a canopy? I'm so disappointed in you. They are talking to Marwa's engineer. You saw the last clip, that car, iron sheet that he had put up there. But on that one, he said that uh, it's Marwa who advised him to put it there. He had suggested that they put glass, but Marwa suggested that they put that one, according to his words. Okay, this one says, this is the most painful building process I've ever seen. Nothing short of a bloody nightmare. I don't know how Marwa is still alive. I will be stressed by the continuous destruction and fixing of crappy work. That iron sheet is cheap and crappy. Oh my goodness. The wind during storms will still blow water on the door. You could have put a smaller honing over the door or waterproof or waterproof it. Also, the iron sheet so night up <laughs> will not protect the door. I mean, do you guys ever access something before acting? Sheesh. I don't know what to think about that. Leave your comments down below <laughs> because this guy, whoever he is, Francis, he's saying, he's trying to imagine how Marwa is living in that condition. Marwa, if Marwa is still alive, that's what he said. <laughs> I don't know how Marwa is still alive. That's what this person is talking about. I don't know what you think. Are you comfortable living in that environment? Can you let me know? This one says, no, that wasn't what people had in mind when they suggested a protection over the door. I think, engineer, you should have consulted with Mr. Ebole and Mr. Masika for um, orientation that suits the standard of the door. Engineer at last gives Strongman the credit that he is the one who alerted you that the manholes were too small. Engineer came in and he's like, me and Strongman, we have done this. Me and Strongman, we have done this. When the other guy who was over there was doing the plumbing, engineer, you were on site. You were there. You are the one who was checking everything that was being done. How come you never saw these things? Now that strong man has come to tell you, oh, this one was done like this. Oh, this one was small. Now you are coming to credit yourself. It's me and strong man. No, it was strong man who saw all these mistakes. Mr. Engineer. Let's move on. This one says, to call this man an engineer is disrespectful to genuine engineers. Maro is probably the one who misled him into thinking he is an engineer. <laughs> yes, it's Maro who always calls him. Mr. Engineer, come see this. Mr. Engineer, come see that. Mm -hmm. The replies to this. People are like, that's enough. They should include the name fake in front of the engineer. Fake engineer. Very true. Fake engineer. Listen, I only use their words. I'm not the one who's calling this man fake engineer. For those who want to come for me. I'm reading comments here. And I'm putting them here for you to read. To know that this is what we do here. We analyze using everything that has been put out. On the streets publicly okay they are saying 
these are not my people. In fact, these are not my keyboard reactors. These are Mr. Engineers, Marwa's Engineers keyboard reactors. They are the ones who are reacting on his video. And they are saying it the way it is. Let's proceed, guys. <clears throat> Let's proceed. The comments are so many. I've picked a lot of them, but I don't know where I will reach with this. Okay, let's proceed. Credit goes to Strongman254. This mess was done in front of you, engineer, with your previous plumber. It's all your fault. Admit it. Straight on the head. This will say, does he have engineering certificate? Does he have engineering certificate to build concrete structures people are asking themselves what is happening listen to this one this man is no engineer <laughs> there are too many shoddy work on this watch plus he has shown more interest in the party instead of showing more interest in making things happen he's showing interest in the party what engineer is this? Did he come there for the party or he came there to do his work? That is the question I was asking the other day. There have been so many projects over there. Many, many, many of them. And I can't see any project succeeding in Amaro's compound. You know, I saw the clay bag project. What happened to it? Mr. Engineer was there to make sure things are happening. What happened to it? Guys, <laughs> I've seen the masterclass project. We've seen the gate. That gate, they're still building it. We are coming to check on that. You know, we've seen him, you know, talking about international, international visitors. We ended up having local Nyabohanze wannabe reactors in the party. What is it that is happening in this place? Hmm? What is it that is happening? This man says, I don't know if it's a man. I've said it before. I will repeat it again. Mr. Engineer needs a lot of real professional help. In fact, he is not an engineer. At best, he is a foreman. The engineer together with his original plumber must be arrested immediately. I am guessing the electrician also has done some major blunders that will be found out later. Strongman must call the police. <laughs> listen to this the justice Amarwa I about fell off my sofa when I saw that horrible iron sheet on this beautiful house not to mention above a door that cost thousands of dollars engineer you need to do best research for things like this this house needed a beautiful canvas awning above the door. Again, there needs to be an interior decorator involved in these decisions. Amarwa, uh, please instruct engineer to find an awning company to fabricate the appropriate cover for that expensive doorway. Hey! You know when you come out showing people whatever you're showing them, you think that these people are stupid. You people are the ones who know. People know things out there. People can advise you from wherever. See how they are disagreeing. In fact, in that comment section, almost like 99% of the comments were disagreeing with the engineer. Just disagreeing with him. Okay, let's proceed. This one says, all this water seeps into the river. The septic tank is at water level in the ground. Essentially, this house is the swamp and a septic tank that has not been planned well is polluting water being used to drink by villagers. Cholera. Cholera, guys. Cholera. <laughs> this one says, that gate thing is a waste of money, period. Did you see the gate? Did you see the gate? <laughs> Listen to this one. Where is the water coming from? This one asks. Now, this one says, The swamp man. is called the swamp man. The engineer. The, the swamp man, one-story house he calls a modern mansion. The blind leading the blind. <laughs> this 
this other one saying you need to build more toilets even near the clay bath. <laughs> it's a mess. I'm telling you guys, it's a whole mess. Listen to this. I always told you all that this guy is so backward. He wants to put iron sheets around the door. Can you imagine? Same thing he was suggesting about the fireplace that was outside. Dude wanted a fireplace to be grass touched as opposed to the guys constructing. Now, after two days, this engineer will disappear from the villa and come back next year to start giving reviews. Man! <laughs> In his comment section, guys, I'm telling you, true story. <laughs> Listen to this one. He says, sir, you are a general, you are a general a contractor and not an engineer. The role of the general contractor is to coordinate the activities of the different trades. You must have competency in building construction. A general contractor, which you are, should have recommended a site foreman to also manage and oversee the work of all the trades. You failed your client, Marwa. Sorry. Sorry you failed. So, this person is telling him right on his face, you are a general contractor. You are not an engineer. These are the engineers that are on the ground, the people who know and understand how things are done. They just look at you like this and they know who you are, what you're capable of, what you're not capable of. Hey! I, I'm loving this space, I'm telling you guys. I'm loving this space. Listen to this. He has been using you all from the begging. This one, he's referring to Marwa. Marwa has been using them for begging, okay? He's been using you all from the begging. Uh, from the begging. You people said we are haters and jealous, but we sat back watching, waiting to see this swamp start sinking we don't even feel bad from you all man praising people over there still struggling and frederick and his family are the only ones winning using while using all of you they are using you people and they are the ones gaining they're the ones who are you know, receiving all the donations. They're the ones who are receiving all the gifts. They're the ones who are receiving everything. They're the ones that you people are working for. So who is losing? <laughs> this is what this person says. Hmm. Another one now is asking, where are the 1,000 guests from around the world at? I asked this question yesterday. In my, yesterday's life, I was asking you this. Where are the 1,000 guests that Marwa said that are coming from around the world? Where are they? You say, oh, this reactor, M. Carol, you are the one asking. See, people are asking these people these questions. I said, I'll be reacting on people's comments. <clears throat> okay, let's move on. This one says, every gift, donation, come to him through each one of you all and you say it's a blessing <laughs> when marwa receives no it's a blessing to marwa marwa is so blessed what about you you who is busy working for him and is not paying you what is your own blessing this one goes on to say meanwhile he's the only person receiving more than anyone else if you are his engineer and everyone else has to come to you why Mayugno is the only person Marwa takes, makes sure, gets the best gifts. Now, go ask yourself, if Gitriba didn't hit the little kid with his motorcycle, and why you all try to cover it up, we remember what happened. He will still be riding Frederick and his white man around. You see, guys, I told you there are so many things happening in that village. We talked about Gitriba, Marwa's driver, the moto, motorcycle guy. He hit a small kid. When he hit this kid, they're all, all the people in that compound, they're hiding it. No one is talking about it. They're hiding it. And this kid was hurt so bad, he was taken to the hospital and he was referred to a better hospital, which means this kid was hurt so much. 
but they're all quiet. They're not talking about it. They're just saying, oh, Maro is so blessed, see. Maro is receiving this. Maro is receiving that. Maro is receiving this. <laughs> see, it's an eye-opener. People are talking about these things. You people should think about them. Not me. Oh. Me, I'm just here to present it to you. If you've not come across it, at least I brought it to you. Listen to this. This one say, you are not an real engineer. Full stop. This is what other one say. The iron sheets ruin the front of the house. I don't like it. You are not the real engineer. Full stop. <laughs> this one says, <clears throat> maybe you should concentrate on your job instead of concerning yourself with what is going on with running the party. You really should be fired due to all the mistakes and money loss that you caused by not properly supervising that construction, Mr. Engineer. I'm loving this. This one says, sir, you, no, sir, do the right thing and remove yourself from Maro's construction because you have done a lot of damage and continue to do so. Maro has spent a lot of money on repairs which could have been prevented. Be honest to yourself. You are not an engineer. That's an insult to professional engineers. What are you exactly? This person asks. What are you exactly? Because you are not an engineer. Can you kindly remove yourself from that place? This person is asking. These comments are just so many, guys. If I say I sit here and start, you know, continue with these uh, messages, it's just too much. Too much. All these are Mr. Engineer's keyboard reactors reacting on his video that he had pulled out on YouTube. Now, I want to leave these questions as well to my own keyboard reactors. Hey, what do you think about them? What do you think about this engineer man? What do you also think about a Marwa's compound? How it's looking like? Can you stay there? Especially at this moment. Guys, you have seen it in their cameras, right? Yeah, their lenses, they show us everything. Can you really take that? Live in that environment? Can you? <laughs> what are some of the advices that you can advise this man, engineer. What can you advise this man? What can you also advise strong man? Because guys, what I'm looking at right now is a mess. A mess, a mess, a mess, a big mess. Do you think this is the reason why these international visitors are not coming in? Because you see, everyone is showing around. People are commenting and everything. Who would love to get his or her air ticket from their own comfort zone to come to such a place? I don't know, guys. If you can, let me know then. And then let me know why. What do you think about this whole situation? What I think about this whole situation, according to me, my opinion, guys, it's a mess. It's the biggest mess that I've ever seen. Biggest of the biggest. I've seen messes in my life, but this one, honestly, I'm trying to imagine how I can even handle that space. I can't. You saw all the sewage is flowing and flowing and flowing into the other river. There, there was this not river like per se, but those terraces that he had made for the fish. Now the sewage has been passing through all over the place. What a mess. Hey, guys, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this. Leave your comments down below and like this video. If you haven't liked it, like it and share if you can, okay? And also subscribe. Hit on this notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be among the first people to be notified. And also remember to check on my store. Click on my store. Go straight to Spreadshop. Pick anything you love, hoodie, t-shirt, mug, bag, whatever it is, pick and just support this channel, AM Carol. I want to thank you in advance. Thank you so much, guys, for your love and support. I love you to the moon and back, to the moon and back. 
keyboard reactors to the moon and back. Let's meet on the next one.